Hi, I have another story to read from you. This is Wild Weather Tales from the Dinosaur Train. And this one is called Rafting Across the Sea. Mr. and Mrs. Petrodon cleared away the branches that had been knocked down in the storm. Buddy and Tiny wanted to help too. They found some big leaves and started to sweep up the mess. Shiny was down by the beach cleaning up seashells when she heard a voice. Gangway! The voice yelled. Shiny looked out to the ocean and she could see something floating in the water. It was on a giant wave and was heading right for the shore. The kids were excited to see a large turtle slowly climb off a raft. Hi, my name is Adian Atticus, he said. I'm a small fur animal with sitting on his shell. Hi, I'm Tommy Podatis, he said. Are you from around here? Tiny asked Aiden and Tommy. Tommy explained that they were brought across the ocean by a big storm. He said that Aiden was by the beach doing turtley things when the rain started. And before Aiden knew it, the storm had washed him out the sea. Luckily, he saw a raft made out of branches that had tangled together and floating in the water. He climbed on it and waited for the storm to end. Tommy had hopped onto the raft. I'd been blown out to sea by the storm, too, he said, and I didn't know what I would do. That's when the big guy saw me splashing like crazy in the water and swam over, Tommy told them. Jumping onto Aiden's back, we thought we'd never find land, but now here we are. Yep, here we are, far away from home, with no way to get back, said Aiden said. He was afraid that he would never get to see his own beach again. But he had a great idea. I know exactly how to get you back home, he said. He and Tiny exchanged a look, and then they both yelled, The dinosaur train! Aiden was really excited. I've never been on the dinosaur train before, he said. I prefer to stay on my beach. Buddy was surprised. We ride the dinosaur train all the time. I was thinking, Shiny said, we'd never been where you're from. We never knew there were beaches anywhere else. Aiden and Tommy invited them all to come for a visit. The kids really wanted to see where their new friends lived, but they had to ask their parents first. Can we go, Mom and Dad? they asked. Mr. and Mrs. Petrodon were happy to take the kids to see where Aiden and Tommy lived. Once they got there, Aiden and Tommy took them right to his beach. They spent the whole day laughing and playing on the beach. It was the most fun they'd had in a while. The big storm started out scary, but it brought them the greatest gift of all. Wonderful new friends. Bye.